prog record. Should have known by the way it's blast. Not frog wrecker, frog stealer. There we go. What do we got? Alright. He kind of came out of nowhere. That's a nice one. A three pounder. Got some fish working on the side of the lake. into that time of the year where the, the fish are feeling warmer than the air. Warm your hands up. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Alright. That's a big boy. Nice. That's what we got up at 3.45 a.m. for. Nice fish. on the scale. Five pounds, two ounces. Nice start. That's why you get up at 3.45 a.m. and drive out here. Nice fish. Grand Rapids Bass. There you go. I'm happy today that they're still around. The weather's getting colder. I wasn't sure if they'd be in shallow. So far so good. Nice to have a couple of three pounders and a five pounder in the video archives after just about maybe 45 minutes of fishing. The big one and that last one that was pretty decent came kind of towards the inside so I might switch my line after I get down to the end here. Oh there we go. That looked like a good one.
E. Hit that one hard. Nice. Another great Grand Rapids bass. If you can hear any of the gunshots in the background, it's youth duck hunting season. Good way to get back on the board. A little bit of a dry spell. I'm saying pushing four on that one. Oof. Right off the edge there. Good to know. Let's see what we got here. We have a, I don't know if you can see that, 3 pounds, 11 ounces of wonderful bassness. Nice. He hit right on that edge, and then he just zoomed this way so I couldn't tell how big he was. That's a nice fish. Let's hope we get a couple more of these. some hanging out around this stuff. There's a lot of it. Alright. Another nice one. Grand Rapids, Minnesota once again didn't disappoint. I was able to drive from Anoka, Minnesota to Grand Rapids about 2 hours and 45 minutes got here at sunup and headed across the lake due to the due to the way the wind was going to be blowing. I was able to find some bass right on the weed edge and find some nice ones too. Some close to four pounds and one over five pounds. Of course catching them on that guy there, the Booyah Pad Crasher. What a fun way to catch them. So we're headed to the end of summer here. And it's just nice to really get out on the weekend and catch some fish. You know, it's one thing to catch some fish. But what makes it even more enjoyable is to catch fish the way you want to catch fish. I wasn't sure this morning, it was pretty cold, if they would start biting on a frog. And they did. Now plenty of sunshine left my day isn't over but as of right now had a great day bass fishing I'll continue and you'll see the results if I catch some more
All right, we're gonna call that lunch log over there. And get some crappies off it, so let's get some more lunch. There we go. Doesn't that feel like a keeper? Still fun to catch. Did it. We got our five fish limit out here in uh, Grand Rapids. That's right. Only five fish for a limit. Took a little while, but we got some nice crappies. What a great way to spend the afternoon. Time to head in. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll keep them coming as long as I'm getting out. Hope you're getting out. Hope to see you on the water next week.